My name is Melinda Putlin, and I'm here to spread the joy of poetry. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And this was by a poem from the author of Dead Poets Society, N. H. Kleinbaum. And the human race is filled with passion. So medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, this is what we stay alive for. And you don't love written. Oh me, a life of the questions of these recurring, of endless trains of faithless cities filled with foolish, what good are those, oh life, for me? Answer, that you are here, that life exists, an identity, and the power of play goes on, and you may contribute a verse, that the power of play goes on, and you contribute verse. What will your verse be? If you think that poetry has not affected your life, I want to share with you that poetry was our first written language with Homer and B. Wolf, the epics. And where would we be without the liberty that has been instilled upon us from poetry? Catherine Bates, for two years, had a poem that affected every one of us, and that poem is called America the Beautiful. And if you still don't say, oh, I still don't like poetry, if you like music, you like poetry, because poetry is lyrics, poetry is you, it is culture, it is all of us. I wasn't going to be here today because my friend who helped me make poetry scrolls, he passed away at 2 o'clock in the morning last night. But it made poetry even more meaningful to me because he showed me the trees and he showed me the clouds. And when we came across this poem by Walt Whitman, and the poem was called Miracle, it made it all more important to me. So I'd like to read you this, and then I'm going to end and conclude with three of my own poems. Why who makes much of a miracle? As to me, I know nothing but miracles, whether I walk the streets of Manhattan or dart my sight over the roofs of houses towards the sky or wade my feet along the beach just in the edge of the water or stand under the trees in the woods or sit at a table at dinner with the rest, or look at strangers opposite me riding the car, or watch honeybees around the hive of a summer noon, or animals feeding in the fields, or birds, or the wonderfulness of insects in the air, or the wonderfulness of the sundown, or the stars shining so quiet and bright, or the exquisite, delicate, thin curve of the new moon in the spring, these, with the rest, one and all, are to me miracles, the whole referring yet each distinct in its place. To me, every hour of the light and dark is a miracle. Every cubic inch of space is a miracle. Every square yard of the surface of the earth is spread with the same. Every foot of the interior swarms the same. To me, the sea and everything is a continual miracle. What stranger miracles are there? Walt Whitman miracles. No matter what you're facing, like I, what I had to face with my friend, he taught me this. That no matter who you are and what you're facing, that you're strong. So the hour is now when you can decide to stand firm in your ground without fear, and without weakness, for you are the holder of your dreams. Let nothing shoot them down or hold them back. Take a chance to run with nature when the wind sails high beyond, and there you are, as strong as eagle's wings, believing in all that you are. The dream is you, and you are only what you care to be. What inside you care to dream, like a book that only you can read and know the end. And then when the story is over, like all things must turn, 
Behind each and every page, you are another new and learning touch of what dreams, hopes, and desires are made of when you reach. So, to end this, have hope in whatever books, whatever songs, whatever artwork, whatever joy, whatever passion that you have, keep that hope upon you and spread it out to the world and cultivate love and peace. And let's think of hope. Plant vineyards, flowers, and lilies, an orchard to willow the vine, a trellis to step the vine, love for drinking buds and bloom, in and through beyond the rainbow, inside the yard of hope. Thank you.